chat. So I missed the stream because of my own accord. My own accord. Hang on, I got my headphone cords tangled. There we go. Okay. So I missed the beginning of the stream. And now I just need to wait for it to be over so I can watch the rerun of it and see what all they talk about. Because it's still technically going right now, which is really unfortunate. Oh! Oh, it's... It's done! It's done! Alright, here we go. Happy hunting! <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Whoa, the Violet Mizutsune. Dude, they're fans? The Dual Blades are fans? I didn't know that. That's so cool. What's up, Hunters? Hi, Bahari. And all that? So without further ado, let's look at the latest trailer. Let's go! <laughs> I'm so happy. The Lord of the Tundra is heartless and cold. Valkana. They're using the Iceborne armor too. That's such a good choice. Yep. Foolish creatures to an icy Yeah. Velcana. I knew it. It's just Velcana, no variant. That's so cool. This is new. That's so dope! Oh god, I hope her weapons are good. Risen Crimson Glow. He's terrifying. I do not like Faust. I do not like fighting Valstrax at all. I know it's just because I'm really not good with him. God! Yep. Chaotic Gormagala added, of course. Wait, 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 wait. What did that say? 220. That's... I don't like that it's higher. It should just stay at 200. It's a nice even number. But... Uh, it could have been worse. It could have been 300. So now they're going to appear in the research quests. Okay. I love that one! Ew! Why? <laughs> That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. The care hunting model, though? No. Oh, that was dope! That turf war! She was, like, stabbing like a lance. And he was, like, blocking and parrying. That's so cool! Oh. I... I'm so happy I get to go play so, Monster Hunter right see, after this. That's a screenshot. That's a screenshot right there. So Valkana's back. So Valkana's back. A Valkana, an elusive elder dragon, has been sighted at the Frost Island. Elusive, my ass! I've hunted those to extinction. Numerous scientists have been trying to catch a glimpse of it. I never thought I'd see the day I'd get to reach So Valkana's an established Let me creature. Tell you what I know. It can freeze the water particles in the air to create pillars of ice, which it uses to attack. That's it such a cool controls move. controls the cold when in combat. It's basically a master of ice. Oh. oh! As you can see, it can instantly turn monsters into popsicles. I wonder how that is low terrifying. the temperature actually is. I'd love to let it freeze me once to find out. Uh, what? Am I alone in this? Ah, uh, so he's weird about the monsters. He's got a monster fetish. Go off, uh, Bahari. Looks like we got trouble. I'm not excited! But he's really cool. Just like Camellios, Tiastra, and Kushala Daora, the Valstrax... That's definitely gameplay on the Switch. Elder Dragons ain't no joke. As for the types of attacks you should expect, I have no idea. Because it's too dangerous to study. Which means that we'll have to rely on your reports. 
So good luck with that. Oh. If you bring back. Oh, it's back. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I hope it has higher element. I hope it has great element. Please, I want to use you. You're so cool. Oh, uh, and Frostcraft is coming back as a skill. Oh, uh, that's so cool. Materials, though. I'm sure Manail the blacksmith will hook you up with some new gear. Probably some sweet new skills, too. Oh, it's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. It's so cool. It's so cool. Dude got a monster crotch. How don't you want a monster crotch with rocket thrusters attached to your shoulders? <laughs> it's so dope. Just thinking about it? I want to know what the skills are. Will become available from that Master makes sense. Yep. And Crimson? And Risen Crimson Glow 160. Rank 160. Are they gearing up for the final update to be Master Rank 200? Because if so... I'm going to cry. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that whatsoever. That's horrible. Kind of. So you'd better get extra prepared. Of course, there'll be new anomaly research content as well. Wait, they are the A investigation? Gormagala will be added to A8 Star Quests. A8. Also, the anomaly investigation level cap will be raised to 220. And Elder Dragons will start appearing from level 111 and onward. I was just about to ask what the point of having... Like, what's the point of having new afflicted monsters to be added in when basically all of the weapons pretty much have all of their level 10 upgrades available unless the new ones that have come in don't but i'm pretty sure they don't take i think you're able to make all of the weapons as rarity 10 upgrades but you do kind of get you get new decorations for killing them so that makes sense i don't know it's confusing this will yield new materials that unlock the cap for curious crafting. A pain in the ass to loose. It's so <laughs> worth the trouble. Every title update also brings new goodies to the Anomaly Research Lab. So go Times hoard 300. those investigation coins. I'm trying to, but I need outfits. Event quests will continue to come in as well. There's even going to be a dual threat quest with seething basil geese. And chaotic gore Basil geese. I do not. Uh, it's adorable. I'll give it all. that, but it's not my There's thing. With the if I was playing a girl, maybe. Well. But I don't. In the arena. My guy's supposed Good to be a badass. Those two at the same time. That's so cool. Event quests have a variety of oh my god! Same time. Hang on. Event quests have first of all. First of all. First of all. Straight Donald Duck looking ass. Literally. You guys are literally cosplaying as Donald Duck. On God. Moving on. Event quests have a This set is awesome. I want to know what colors you can change with it. And in general, I fucking love it. It's so cool. The girls, it's got the Rathian problem, right? It's got the Rathian armor problem. Really problematic. They should change that. I... It's completely impractical, even in that reality. That would not... They can't just phase... <sighs> Skirt's too big. Change it. Dress is too big. Change it. Make it more badass. Women like to be badass, too. This armor is fucking awesome. And it's because... I like both of them. This has kind of got a maid thing going. And I'm kind of okay with maid outfits. On either or, at this point, but especially in this color set and everything, that's amazing. Don't like the hair. Wouldn't keep the hair. Would probably put the monocle on, or glasses, or something. But, that the girl's hair is cute. I like the girl's hair, because it comes with the, with the bun. Or with the, with the frill. And the, and the, the ribbon. It's really pretty. It's, it's my color scheme. White, black, red little bit of in between some accents here and there like that's that's perfect 
there's nothing wrong with this either of these because this is one that I'm fine with being femme energy and this is one that I'm fine with being mask energy but at the exact same time Capcom let both genders wear both genders is armors there's no point it'd be so cool and it would allow so much customization it would be so cool there's no reason why you can't or make in the next game make a universally looking set for both genders why not i mean it is cool to have customization but then you only have to design one armor set for for both genders and then it also just like it it takes it takes less pressure away from like people wanting you to give both sets to both i think it's a good idea capcom hit me up i've got a you should make universally used armors anyways so make sure to download that one's cool <laughs> see huh what are you doing? Hey, I'm hosting a show here. Hey, what the? Lance Gun, Rampage. Hi. Yeah. Y yes, I have seen this indeed. Okay. Should I be reading this all out? I, I'm just, I'm not a fan. Of other than the Palico and the Palamute. <laughs> I'm a fan of this hairstyle. I am a very large fan of this hairstyle. I like it a lot. It's like Utsushi's. It's really good. Oh, also, I've seen or er, I've been playing World before. And people, there's a sticker set apparently in that game that's kind of similar to this, where it's like really well drawn, like lots of work put into it stickers. And I saw it of a Rathalos, and I forget exactly what it looked like. And I would love to be able to edit it and put it up on stream or anything like that, but I can do no such thing. Wait, unless. It was that one. Okay, I guess it's not necessarily on the same level. But they look similar, do they not? I feel like they do. He's eating Devil Joe's tail. That's cute. Isn't it crazy how the entire Monster Hunter community literally gaslit itself for years that Devil Joe ate its own tail? That's so fucking crazy. And then I was alive to be able to experience everybody literally going through it and working through their own gaslighting trauma. But anyways, it was that one right there. That did not help. It was It's that one right there. That's the one I saw. I really like it. I think that's the one. Oh, the Adogaron one's adorable. That one's really cool. These are awesome! I love these! These are so cute! And I love them! I want them! I want them in real life! I might buy that set, literally just to have. Anyways, anyways. I'm sorry. I, I got off track. Anyways. I really like those stickers. Nail the blacksmith! Forging ahead! Manail. Unwavering diligence wins Manail. the day! I really like the way Lance looks, and I love watching people. Did it say soon break? Huh? What? What the heck was that? Couldn't hear what they were saying, but I know brilliant design when I see it. They look just like the art that's all over Elgato. <laughs> Seriously, that stuff's everywhere. Keep an eye out for it. <laughs> I love them. As I should. Thank you. Yeah, as I should. Okay, we're almost at the end of the report. He's Let so me show cool. you the upcoming roadmap. This free title update for here will add Belkana and Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax. 
That was a mouthful, wasn't it? And we have free title update five coming in April. April! Ah, my scientific sense is telling me that there's going to be quite a fearsome monster in this one. I'm so excited for Valkana. I, I want to go watch it, it again. All right, everyone. Time for a recap. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Title update for February 7th, bro. On That's so cool. And That's in six days. In April 2023. That's in six days. To see what monsters will run into. Yeah, me neither. I'm so excited. The more updates come out, the happier I am. Also, Monster Hunter Rise was released on Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, Windows. Oh, it is on PlayStation 4 and 5. PlayStation 4 on January 20th this year. Sunbreak, the massive expansion, will also be coming in spring. So keep an eye out for more information. All right, time to get back to my research. See you in Elgato, everyone. Bye. That's so cool. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Oh. What's this? Is that a Velcana dog skin? That's a very tiny Velcana. <coughs> oh, is this a new variant? Hold is on. that what the is skin is? Newsflash! To celebrate the release. The, wait, that's game. what you get for it? Campaign entrants will be able to get their hands on a Velcana costume that'll make your Palamute look like a Velcana. Let's go! It might be small, but it's got big energy. Big Take energy? Oh, Palamute look at him sticking on him. And you're guaranteed to steal the I'm show. getting that and Just never changing it. More info about the campaign. I'm getting and that and never changing it ever out. in my life, ever. I did that. I signed up for that. That makes me so happy. That's what I get for it? I guess he didn't really talk about it. Hang on. I kind of want to re-hear what he has to say about it. Because I was going over. I was going no brazy. I swear to God, crossplay might come out with Rise. I swear. On your with this outfit and make That's sure so cool. Not to miss out. That's so cool. I love it. All right, anyways, to go back over this, let's go back through this. I want to pick this apart. I wish there were other people that existed in the Monster Hunter world that look as cool as we do with our armors. That's so cool! Dude, okay, first of all, using the Monster Hunter world, well, that one, they changed it for world. They changed what the jaw blade looked like in world, which is really unfortunate, but also still cool. You know, it's still cool. But they're using the like world starter armor that makes me very happy that makes me, that's such a good touch the Lord of and the then Tundra. that they appar apparently Velcana is just going to leave around tracks which is cool that's a really interesting addition however however they didn't do anything like that for Anjanath. uh they didn't do anything like that for Anjanath, Toby, Jiratotis I think that's all of them right Baroth, I guess, but he was in things before World. But, anyways, them, him kneeling down and like checking out the tracks, even though he's not actually checking out the tracks, though that would be very cool, like as an addition or a homage. It just, I like that. That was a really good touch. Snow. Look at them feet. So cool. So it's still base hunter. Using base... Wait. Oh, okay. I was wondering why he was glowing green. I was like, does it come with scout flies? But it's just the, the light that appears at nighttime. That is an arc-tempered Velcana move. Which is interesting that base Velcana has it now. But I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's a cool move. She's got one of her base moves. The freeze with the tail flip into a stab. That's new. That's very new. So is this part. Yeah, that's new, but that's really cool. Alright, what armor are they using? Okay, we got Chaotic over here. That might be Risen Kushal over there, because that's Risen Teostra armor. 
and then that might be that kind of almost looks like base gore is that what what insect glaive is that that's so fucking cool there are so many weapons that probably exist that i really like the look of that i have no idea even do because i play longsword that's so dope that looks oh no that's basil armor she doesn't have it's interesting she doesn't have the frenzy virus in this even though she's using chaotic gore armor and she doesn't have the effect that she finished that she completed it either so is it do they just use layered armors for these guys so cool they're so cool oh yeah i didn't even see that those are adorable i really like those they're really pretty i don't like palico smiling palico smiling's weird that indicates lips palicos don't cats don't have lips do they do they kind of have lips i don't know Anyways, this is adorable. I think the green is really pretty to look at, and I'm sure you can change it to other colors, and having red fairies at my side would be dope. That's weird. What do you think, chat? Any opinions? Neighbors sound like they're playing tag for fun. I never thought I'd see the day I'd get to research one! Me too. Let me tell you what I know. Whoa! As you can see, it can instantly turn monsters into popsicles. That's so hor a horrible way to die. Actually is. I'd love to let it freeze me once to find out. How would that help you to let you know? Yeah, am I alone in this? Elder dragons ain't no joke. They're so cool. Like he's going to suck to fight, but he's so cool. If you bring back I love it. I love it. I'm excited for Frostcraft to return, because that means EI Sheath can be my fucking... Yeah. Give me one second. Anyways. It's materials, though. I'm sure the Dude, it's just... It's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. I had to take a drink of water. I just... It's... Like, blue isn't even my favorite color. It's just a color I really like, especially this blue. This blue is awesome. And it, you look like literally an ice knight. I love it so much. Nail the blacksmith will hook you up with some new gear. By the way, I hate the fucking palico helmet. I don't like that. I don't like that there's no chin. That's dope. That's dope as fuck. I just now, I literally just now even looking at it fully. That's so cool. What does that turn into? A spear that like clasps together? It looks like it. I mean, it's two halves, right? So that clasps together and turns into a spear. That's dope. That's already a spear. It's big as hell. It's so cool. I love this. This is, I've already said this is really cool. It's unnecessarily over the top, kind of just like how Valstrax is. And I adore it. It's very genuinely a very cool. It's just, it's just such a cool fucking. The Velcana quest will become available from Master Rank Ten, and Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax from Master Rank One Hundred and Sixty. That really sucks, but it's fine. Since I'm, since I'm using my platform now to actually express my ideas and what it is that I think. Capcom, listen to me. Capcom, bring it in with me, buddy. Okay, listen. I completely understand why you put master rank caps onto these monsters. They're difficult. You should have to practice a lot before you get to them because they're going to be tough and they've got really good gear because of it. You don't need that early game. I get all of the reasonings, plus the ones I haven't listed, of course, but I get it. I really do. However, this approach to it is not the way to do it. With World, it was steep, right? Me and my girlfriend, we played all the way from World to the end of Iceborne, right? I, for the most part, wasn't ever using super overpowered things, like, to chew through the monsters. I played it through with her naturally, helped her build her armors, her weapons. She got really good stuff. It took us... We ended up beating Fatalis after fighting him for, like, I think two months. 
two months of fighting him. And she still was not Master Rank 100 by the time she was done with all of that and able to completely beat Fatalis. Yes, agreed, with my help, but still, that is a lot of time to spend doing something. While it wasn't just that we only attempted Fatalis, we would hunt other things or play... Basically, if we're playing Monster Hunter, we're hunting other things. Or Fatalis. Drinking game. Take a shot for every time I've said Fatalis. Point is... That itself was steep, and even then I kind of understand. You guys could probably lower it to, I'd say, Master Rank 80, and it would still hold the same perspective as these high ones do, while making it still more accessible for people who play the game not only more casually, but only when they have the time to do so, or if... They, like, can even hold... Because, like, that even takes away from how much interest your audience is going to hold to your game. If you are putting these extremely high, extremely grind-worthy level caps on these cool, interesting monsters that we want people to know about and want to fight, but are going to lock them basically behind a time gate... For them to have to wait from the time that they start playing this game. From the time they start playing this game until they can get to the cool shit that you want people to play. But like I said, I get it. You don't want newcomers to just speed their way all the way through into endgame. We don't want that. Us consumers who play every game that you release. I say that since world, but I've tried Gen Mew. Leave me alone. I'm a fifth fleeter. You're just locking people out of the experience that people in this game love most it's okay to make them wait it's unnecessary to make them do it this long it is very easy for people to get burnout on your game before they even end up reaching master rank 100 so that really that starts to gut the long-term players and if you want your games to be as live service as you are trying to make them to be you need to not do that. You need to make it as accessible as possible while still putting limitations on the player that keep them from progressing too quickly through your story, but still give them a goal that they actually feel like they can reach. End of tangent. Moving on. Of course, there'll be new anomaly research. Very excited about this. Very, very excited. The I, I, I was worried when they announced it. I mean, I wasn't necessarily worried. I was like, okay, cool. Like, I saw the that announcement just a few seconds before this, and my thought process was like, cool, the Risen Elders are going to appear as mon other monsters in the endgame quests. That's fine. I, I gladly enjoy that, you know? I enjoy fighting them. They have good things that I want from them. They've got good materials for decorations, for for armor pieces if you haven't made any, for layered armor if you haven't made any like this. They're they're that's that was fine. But the fact that they are going to be quest subjects themselves to something that won't just appear as an addition but can be the main event that is a great choice that's a fantastic choice because they are already they overcame the affliction sure yes and you aren't necessarily going to have the same red bubble pop fight from these afflicted quests but you still do have a knockdown meter that you need to fill to be able to knock them out of the risen state anyways so basically this is a great choice this is a fantastic choice i like this addition more of this, please. Continue putting everything that comes into your game that's new into these quests. Because it's helps me get endgame materials, helps me augment and play your lottery machines. By the way, Capcom, please, please don't do armor augmenting like this ever again. Ever again. Take the weapon tree route or something. Do what you can with weapons and put that to armor. Something. I know you guys are trying to change it up. You guys don't want it to be the same every time. You don't want it to be too overpowered like health regen and was in world. But oh my god, that saved my ass a lot of times. I get it. Man, does it suck to actually participate in. You're going to probably get time out of me for augmenting my armor. I'm going to augment my armor. I want better stuff. But what you're going to get 
is me augmenting until I get to a, eh, that's alright, I can take that, enough stage that I leave that on my armor and that's the last time I'm touching it. I am not going to roll for meta skills or skills that I actually want when I know that there's basically no way of me even trying to shift things in the direction that I want them to go. I know it's fun for the randomness aspect of, like, oh, what if you get, like, a really good skill? Like, not even one that you were trying to matching, but, like, an even better one. Or one that would be fantastic on this armor. I get it. Like, yeah, that's fun to try those odds. Why not do that and put the, like, really rare skills inside of a lottery machine that you can win? Like, with a certain pool of skills that's a lot smaller? And then why don't you just give the old way of augmenting back at the same time why don't you just smush them together that will make the armor customization literally the highest tier that it will ever be for augmenting as well as it would just it would keep the player engaged they would feel like they actually have goals they can work towards and then when they've done enough of something they've acquired enough of the materials they can throw in the lottery machine they can just throw it in and see oh wow maybe i they got one of the really good skills that they wanted to get out of that skill pool maybe they did it oh well they'll just wait until next time that they have the same surplus of materials <laughs> capcom let me design your game i guess let me just take it over because i'm a game developer and i 1000 percent know what i'm talking about and how easy it is to do these things you should know that capcom you should know that you raised to 220 and elder dragons will start appearing see you zigged when you zagged that's why you got hit you should have zagged level cap will be raised to 220 220 okay the dragons will start appearing from level 111 and onward 111 that's kind of okay so doing these risen elder dragon investigations lets you unlock even more slots and add even more augmentations in that's fantastic that's that's awesome that's i love that there's even going to be a dual threat quest with seething basil geese and chaotic gormagala basil geese i i honestly don't really care how it's pronounced i just think it's funny to hear it that way Oh god. In the arena. Good luck handling those two at the same time. All right, well if that's a challenge quest, I want to do that. Have a right. Now let's have a look at the new DLC. All right, skip through. Skip through. S skip through. It's silent. It's silent. I don't like it. They look let's look at this title map really or okay. this road map really quick. At the end of the report. Let me show you the upcoming road map. This free title update for here will add Velcana and Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax. Six days! And Six days! Title update five coming in April. Okay, so let's look at this. This was a solid... This was a... Like... Maybe I don't like one of these monsters. I'm talking about you, by the way. But, like, for this being a first title update, this was a banger update. This was a... This one was a banger four monsters like one that hasn't come back in a while one that has and then well these two have but like lucent nargakuga awesome ass monster cool as fuck nargakuga better than the original by a million times and is just a dope ass monster has some really good gear that i used for a while uh flaming espinos love him i love spicy as penis He's so great. He's I love the way he looks. I love his moves. I love his noises. They're adorable. I, I his giant ass fireball that he sometimes decides to fuck your day up with following a second one with. He's I love him. And his weapons have fire and poison. All of them do, not just dual blades. That's so cool. That's such a cool cool ass addition. So cool. Anyways, Kush Risen Kushala in Risen Teostra. Not as good or hard as Camellios is. And I say that after farming his layered armor and his full armor. He's got great damage skills on his armor. He's got fantastic damage skills on his armor. Okay, Risen Kushala though, I love the look of his armor. It's probably one of my favorite looking armors in the entire series. But he wasn't, he's not that much 
like he's got some crazy ass moves. Don't get me wrong, and they they hurt. But he's he's not all that. He's cool though. I like his colors better. It's February seventh, six days from now, we're getting this, which probably means five days and then at midnight or something like that. What is that happening? When is the seventh? Is that next week? The seventh is going to be on next Tuesday. What a horrible time for a drop. Okay. Anyways. April 7th, or April is awesome. Beautiful. Amazing. 